Hey guys and welcome to Barber P Plays Minecraft. You may have seen my series that I'm playing with uh, Gaming the Bomb at the moment, but I thought I'd just start my own little series. I think we're going to call it Rubik's. I've been playing with the Rubik's Cube for quite a while now and I've only just sort of really learned how to do it. I think we're going to start with a bonus chest. Uh, so we have cheats on just in case. Nah, we'll keep cheats off so you know I'm not spamming the world. Generate structures definitely done and create our new world so we uh spawn underwater yeah that's so fair and we've spawned here hmm. don't know quite what we're going to do with the series but i'm see how far i can get i haven't played minecraft on my own for quite a while so first things first as you may have noticed i am a fox i've had the fox skin since i started playing minecraft i i don't know why but i've never actually changed my skin probably should have a bumblebee but i like my little fox He's been with me since I ever since I bought Minecraft back a long time ago, <laughs> before a lot of these things were introduced, and I recently got back into it. I'm using the Spax text pack like I do in my other series, just because I think it's the prettiest, to be honest. So main goals for this series is not die, uh, don't die, and don't die some more is probably the definite main goals for this series. If there's any, ooh. if there's anything you want to see in the future, I'm going to start here. Please let me know in the comment section what you'd like from this series. I'm not bad at pixel art. I did a lot of that back in my Minecraft days. Um, and that sort of thing. So, so it, it's quite nice. Oh, where was our bonus chest? We never actually looked for that. I go off on some right little tangents. There we go. I forgot all about our little bonus chest. What have we got in there? We've got some raw salmon. And we've got shit tons of wood. Little pickaxe. And an axe. That's nice. There we go. I liked it when they introduced a little bonus chest. I thought it was just a little, a cute little extra. That saves us a bit of time. We don't have to waste any of our resources. So I'm going to go straight into this cave and have a quick look in there. So, have we got anything to start off with? It's, it's quite deep and dark. It's quite deep and dark. Mm, can I get that down there? Oh, okay, I'm just going to put that there. Found a bit of coal to start off. That's always a great thing for your first night. Um just so that you can create some torches if you haven't started with the bonus chest obviously we did because we are scum and there's two pieces which not great but not bad get a few bits of cobblestone and i'm gonna start by building a tiny 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 little shack maybe not that tiny but small enough that we can at least survive the night and check out this cave who knows this may be a forever place literally at spawn i quite like doing that just in case i forget to put a bed down you know that sort of business how much Eleven's not enough for what I want because I'll use a bit for my floor as well. So I'm gonna get a bit more. What the bloody fuck's this? And a side. I don't. I don't even think there's anything to. I don't think you can do anything without the side. I've not. I've not really played the new. I guess it's not really updated, but the updated versions of Minecraft where they added all these new stones in. Bec and went back in back in my day. We just had cobblestone and you had to deal with it, lads. But yeah, no. In seriousness, I have freaking no idea what to do with half of this stuff so we're gonna make a few tools do 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 i'm gonna start off with a pickaxe and i'm gonna make an axe and a shovel a sword and that's about it i do have like a general kind of way that i put all my tools into my hotbar i have a certain order and that is my order i've always done it and i think i've just got used to doing it that way around um we are going to make a house i think i'm just going to build a tiny tiny little shack here yeah so i'll meet you guys when i finish the shack so there we go guys i've just made a tiny tiny little shack i think it's all right and what i'm going to do is just for the finishing touches is just put some glass in and while i was here i thought i didn't in case you didn't guys didn't know you know these unwanted wooden tools, you can actually use them to be burned. They're not very efficient at all, but it is an easy way to get rid of them. So, we're going to burn them, and then I'll use up a bit of my coal that I collected from that little tiny cave there. I got a decent start, I think. I've got like my chest and my little shack, and I think we're ready to survive the night, and then we can go exploring in that cave if we really wish to. I know the windows aren't really... There's much point in them because all we're looking at is this lovely dirt scenery. But it's nice to be able to look out just in case. 
and I'm just like, we can check through our little spy hole of our door, just here. I feel like one of those nosy neighbors, just like, you naughty little creepers. I have had a fight with a creeper already, and I won, which was surprising, because I just heard this tss, and I was like, whoa, where the hell are you? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm in my house. And I just noticed him there, and he, he fell, and I was like, alright then. So, went and got him, and he blew up a nice area in there, and got this dirt. Ooh! Oh my god, this cave's going to be huge. I'm hoping we find some iron. Or it, 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 I'm hoping we find anything, to be honest. But hopefully our uh, glass is cooked. Or it will be. Yeah, there we go. And while we're there, I'm going to cook that fish. And I never put in glass blocks. I don't see the point when you can literally make some uh, glass panes and have a lot more. If that makes sense. You get a lot more glass from instead of having the glass blocks. I think it looks better as well. You've got the little windowsills almost. But yeah, this is home sweet home. And this is uh, what we got so far. I can put all the crap that I don't really need in there. I don't really need the torches. That's not crap. Don't need that. 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 And we have the fish. Which is nice. And I'm going to use the remainder of my coal to make some torches. Five torches. Take some sticks with me just in case. And I think we're done. There's another fish. I'm going to use a bit of wood to cook that last bit of fish. There we go. It was. It's nice to start with the, I guess it's the cheat chest or the bonus chest, but I quite like to do it. What does the little note say here? It says shopping list, something, log, something, something. I can't read that. It says shopping list anyway. My eyesight's horrible. We've got our cooked fish. And I quite like Barber Manor. This is what it's going to be called. Barber Bee Manor. I can actually make a little sign for it. Oh, I guess it's not really a manor though, is it? It's more of a shed. So we'll call it Barber Bee Shed. There we go. Let's put up a little sign so that we've got it for our forever home. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of wood and one piece of stick. That is a technical term, a piece of stick. If you didn't already know, you do get three signs from it, which is nice. I like to label all my houses. It is going dark, which is it's not an issue because we have built our shack. So we're going to name it Barber. If I could spell my own name, Barber Bee's Shed or Shack. I want to put Shack. Barber B Shack. And it's forever labelled as Barber B Shack. No. And I'm just going to put a couple of torches just so I've got some idea of the surrounding areas. That area's lit up over there. Why is it lit up? Is that a spawner? See, my, my, my eyes like... Is it? Oh, it, oh. It's a massive lava pouring out of the... Uh, Snowy Mountain over there. We're going to have to check out Snowy Mountain at some point. We've got a name for the mountain over there. Snowy Mountain, guys. You've heard it here first. Snow and lava. That wouldn't make sense to me. But Oh well. Obviously, it's Minecraft, so nothing does really make sense. For our first night, we could either sit it out in our lovely little shack, which is nice support. We have got lots of food. We haven't got a bed yet, which is a shame. We could just literally sleep it out and set our spawn. Or we could do a bit of cave exploration, and what I think we're going to do is we are going to do some cave exploration. I did hear the zombie. I want to be able to get out there because I do quite like this area. So I am going to just kind of mine it so that it is easy, easily accessible, I guess you'd, is the right word for it. Get some cobblestone ready just so that we can uh, have a search around. Let's have a quick look over this way first. So hopefully we find some coal rather quickly, otherwise we have run out like, no, or iron. Or both. Great. Well, I'm glad we came this way. We've got enough coal now to make some lovely torches to continue our little expedition in the little mine shaft, if you call that. I've been playing Minecraft a long time. I remember my first little world. It was in a snow biome. It was when snow biomes were first created, and I was lucky enough to get a snow biome, and I had some doggos and that sort of thing. And it was on my old laptop that literally blew up in my hands. I decided that. I didn't need a new charger and the masking tape would sort it out and it just ended up the problem got worse and worse and worse and worse as you can imagine so we're just gonna get a bit of this coal go down and get the iron and I'm gonna go back to the shack and that could be the first night that we've uh, actually survived which is nice oh this cave goes on forever so we're gonna continue with this in the next episode once I've taken this iron here let's have a look oh They've taken literally this one piece of iron, which is literally the one piece of iron, right? Yeah, let's uh, get out of this cave and go and get some. Uh, I can't. Ah, 
the first mob. Come here, you general spitter. What I've got to get used to on this game is now the new mode for, uh, like, attacking things. You you can't just cl click spam because it, it does no damage whatsoever. While as if you wait and, like, do a full swipe on something when your sword's at full, you can um, have a lot more effect, basically. So we've got a decent amount of coal. We have an amazing hoard of iron ore, which will I'm probably just saving my chest. And make some tools. So this has been the first night in Barber B's shack. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment and make sure you watch the future series. I'm going to be putting a couple of these out a day just so you've got a couple of con a bit of content to watch. As always, I have been Barber B, you've been you, and have a nice day guys. Bye bye.